YouTube, it's Matt with Homeless Drop Tiles. And today, I want to talk about an actual educational subject. Well, maybe it's not educational, I don't know. You'll be the one to judge if you learn something from it. And this is uh, something I think we breeze over a lot. It's just kind of expected. And we say, well, this is what we do. But we never really say why we do it or, or show more than just the very, very basics of it. So today, as we're going through our animals, I've got nine babies from uh, clutch number five. Now this is not the clutch update video. What this is is showing you a, like, not just well, how we set them up, but why we set up, uh, set them up and what we do during the setup, like throughout the process. So we're gonna check each one of those, see where they're at, and uh, they are at different stages, which is great. Now, none of these babies have been fed yet ever. So these are, you know, see, if you look at the cut date, they're getting close to about a week old. And I think we start, right here so this is baby number one so the first thing I do is look at that baby and I can see that it hasn't shed yet and you can kind of tell that it's got kind of a sheen on it, it looks almost waxy would be the best way I would describe it uh, it still looks fine it's got good you know water the paper towels not disgusting but the paper towel but is dry and because it's going to be going to its first shed I'd like to add just a little bit and I do mean a little bit of moisture to that just to kind of wet that paper down down a little bit. Now, sometimes, because we're keeping this as a moist environment, you'll open these and you'll find your paper towel will start to have little spots of color and nastiness on it. If it does, change your paper towel. Now, we're not using substrate on these yet. We'll probably show you why here in a second. Here's another one. And we kind of the same thing. Uh, it still has that waxy look to it. And the reason why we're not using substrate yet because when these little babies are born, come here little one, they feel different too. They almost feel waxy. Uh, but if we look at its belly, now this one's belly has started to heal up pretty good, but when they're born, that's open because that's where the umbilicus attaches. So I don't want that crawling around in substrate and possibly uh, getting infected. Now I probably wouldn't have to worry about it. We still leave it on a paper towel, just as a kind of a habit. And that one's about to need change. We'll go ahead and let it go just a little bit. I'm not seeing anything, a little bit of a, well, you know what? When in doubt, just change it out. So what we'll do is we'll simply grab a paper towel. You just take it out and throw it away, which, uh, pretend there's a trash can. And you grab yourself a new paper towel. So it's up there. One thing, it depends on your tub setup. We have to tear ours on these just to fit around the water bowl. Pick that snake back up. Put that in there. And we're done. That's all you got to do. So it's really quick and easy to clean uh, and take care of. But again, we need to add some moisture to that. That is just to help the snake shed. So a little boop, and a little bit of boop, a little bit of boop. Uh, and that should take care of that. And I'll give you a little more water too while we're at it. So, problem solved for that snake. Well, as you can see, both normals. Now, at this age, we're starting to get ones that are ready to shed out. So this snake here, as you can see, needs a little more water. We'll just use that. Uh, we can get a little bit moisture paper towel. A little moisture won't hurt. But if you're doing this right, you should get a complete shed from your baby uh, without any stuck shed. So we'll set that right there the water dish. Now what we're going to do with this baby, although I'm not going to do it right now on camera, whoop, still got more shed in there. And if the shed rips a little bit, that's okay, not a big deal. Something else that a lot of people will freak out on is right here. And if you look, if you get closer, there's a little bit of blood on that shed. That is not uncommon. That's going to happen occasionally. You'll also see a little bit by the cloaca. You'll see a little bit on the cloacas in adults uh, often enough, yeah, but it's not uncommon for a baby to have just a touch shouldn't be a lot or anything but that's pretty normal and then this baby will now start to feel like a ball python normally feels if we look at its belly you'll see that's fully healed up just has a little line there Ooh, thought you were going to launch at me for a second i scared you uh and so what we're going to do with it not at this exact moment, but this baby is now ready to go on the substrate. So I can take this when they all shut out. I'll wait till they all shut out. And if I was had all my snakes here at this one location, I would go ahead and move this over now. But since I don't, I'll probably wait till more shut out and move them all at once. It won't hurt it to be on paper towels longer. A lot of people keep things on paper towels permanently. 
I just don't. I prefer substrate. But to each their own. But since it's healed up and ready to go, move on to the next one. Now this one's also a shed. Oh, look at that. So this one's got a little bit bigger water dish, which I do prefer. Now, even though this one's shed, uh, we're going to change this paper towel. This is a good example of what I'm talking about. You can see it's had a little bit of urate. It's got some nasty on the towel. It's due for a change. Probably happened when it shed. It has shed completely, which is what we're looking for. Well, come here, little one. And of course, this is a little GHI. Now, there's nothing better looking than a fresh shed baby GHI. Just that, that look is so, so awesome. So we'll pull that out. Gross, gross, gross. Oh, he almost made the trash can. See, but he did. And then we'll just put a new one in. So again, this is really the kind of a simple thing to do. And then you just want to get, like, say, the snake, the ins a quick inspection. Then you want to make sure all the skin's off. And if you do have a little bit of retained shed, it's not the end of the world, guys. You're going to have it occasionally if you do a lot of this. Uh, it's pretty rare on the newborns to get it, but I'm not going to tell you it's never happened, especially the weaker newborns. But if I had just a little bit here that I thought was a problem, we'd just give it a little soak and probably just rub it a little bit and see if it wanted to rub off. If not, we'd put it back and then we'd start again the next day. Uh, but it, it's, it does occasionally happen. But you can see that was perfect. I'll put this water dish back in. Give it just a little bit of a wet environment. Slide it back in. So this is really kind of the way we do our babies. And I go through... I'll go through and I'll check them all. Here's one that looks pretty good, hasn't shed yet, uh, so we'll just give it a little bit of moisture. And when you start to see the first couple shed like we've seen, I will expect within the next couple of days, um, actually we're going to be gone for a few days, by the time I get back, all of these will have shed out. This is another perfect example of when it's time to uh, go ahead and actually change out the paper towel. He ain't going to call me. I'm going to dump the water in wine. As you can see, there's a little bit of a cloud in there. That snake crawled through that water, probably getting, like, fluid, not fluid, but, uh, oh, leftover muck, more or less. When they're born, they get a lot of that uh, amniotic fluid, for lack of a better word. There's a word I'm looking for I can't think of, so I'm going to throw it out there. Basically, the crap that's in the egg. <laughs> it's egg version of amniotic fluid. Albumin. That's what it is, I believe I'm looking for. So we'll get some of that all over them and it kind of makes nasty and will crawl through the water dish and leave that grossness there. But we'll want to give them some fresh water. So we'll do that. And of course, we'll just moisten that a little bit to help them shed. And you can really see the difference. This is a great time to do that. And then I will uh, see if Question Girl has anything she wants to add in the shed ones. When I say, you know, there's nothing better looking than a fresh shed GHI. So this is our fresh shed one here, I do you believe. Wait, wait a minute. No, actually you're not. Where'd my shed one go? Yeah, you were. You were my shed one. Okay. You just lost a little bit of waxy feel some babies. But if you look. Oh, come here, little guy. You were not either. What did I have my shed one? I had a shed out in GHI. Because these are going to both look about the same. But you'll get that dark black on. It must be this one. Nope. Where's my super dark black one at, dear? I don't know. Where's the one that I said was all shut out? Well, ain't there. Well, now I gotta go dig through. Anyway, you get the idea of what we're dealing with here. So, that is kind of what we're looking for. Question girl, any questions? No. No. Oh, well, that's the problem. Uh -huh. There's my issue. Now I'll show Tom about I didn't go up high enough as a rail. So now let me show you the comparison I'm making. I was getting really confused there for a second. So I was like, I know. I know, I know, I know. I had one that looked really good. I remember seeing it, and I bet it's... There it is! Whew! 
So this will give you a difference in the comparison. It is a night and day difference. So when I talk about those fresh shed GHIs, there you go. You can really see it. You can really see it. And it's just in the blacks and how that color pops there, where this has a little bit more of a drab look. These things right after the shed, there's a difference in the heads. It's just amazing, 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 amazing. The only thing that makes it more evident is Mojave. All right, questions, any questions? So wait a minute. The mm -hmm. one that's in your hand now, I consider that to be the brighter snake. It is. It's fresh shed. Okay. Because I thought the one that you just yeah. put back was the fresh shed. No, 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 no. This is the one that's shed. The one that's in my hand now. That one's waiting to shed. Okay. So this one's ready. I couldn't find it because I'd gotten off of my row and was looking in the wrong spot, which is why I was so confused. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, definitely the brighter snake right here. So basically in closing, again, when you have a newborn babies and they're fresh out the egg and you set them up, paper towels, moist. The reason is the cut in the belly. Leave them there. Let them be. Let them shed. Don't feed them typically until after their first shed. Now, if they don't, I've had a baby take three weeks to have its first shed. I didn't wait that long to feed it. So there are exceptions to that rule. It's not a hard and fast thing. Once the snake is shed, like you've seen, we can start attempting to feed the snake. So we'll move all these over to our new place once they all shed out, and then we'll go right to feed them. They're born with the full belly. They should be fine, so I'm not too worried about it yet. Uh, but that's kind of what you're waiting on to put them on substrate and get them really rolling. All right, anything else? Question, girl. Yes. So on snakes with the umbilicus, it just sheds or sloughs off? Absolutely. Okay, so it's not like humans where you get an in ear and outie with the snake. No, it's just going to be a line. You know, in humans, we, we cut the umbilical cord, but the rest of it sloughs off too. Like, you know, babies still have that nasty-ass cord still sticking on them. We all do. And then after a while, it gets kind of crusty and plunk. These guys do the same thing. So whenever they come out of the egg, they'll be dragging this little piece off, and then it's just going to break off. Um... Uh, and you'll occasionally find it, as nasty as that is, in there. <laughs> and sometimes it brings up a new thing, too, when your baby first crawls out of the egg and is dragging a little piece of that cord. Depending on when it crawls out, it may be having a little bit of bleed from that. Don't let that scare you. Again, if you're having lots of blood, scary. Just a little bit of blood as it first crawls from that cord. No big deal as that's drying up and dying. Anything else, dear? It's <laughs> not disgusting. It's how nature works. That cord is what they're feeding off of and what keeps them alive, connected to the egg. It's like a, you know, I mean, it's like a symbiotic womb. We have humans are born in a womb. They sit there, they're fed off the mother. The egg does all that for this little guy. And then when it's time to leave, that cord's no longer needed and they start breathing and doing everything else the way they should. So it just dries up and goes away. It's actually uh, really kind of cool. So it's not that disgusting. And it's not as gross as it sounds, I promise. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.